What's up, family? How you guys doing? I hope everybody is being safe out there. There's a whole lot of things going on in the world. So whatever you do, my brothers and sisters, stay safe. I've come to the conclusion that we have two type of black people in America today. We have those that want to coexist with white supremacy. And we have those that are trying to destroy it. And this has caused a divide between black people theology the way we see things the way we approach things and it's causing a problem it's actually becoming a roadblock because as activists as pro-black individuals like me we're out to dismantle and destroy white supremacy but you have a new class of black people that is trying to coexist with it and that within itself is a very bad thing and it's a conflict of interest. You have those on YouTube that is basically um, caking with white supremacy or saying that it's not that bad and things are not the way it is um, because they don't understand that white supremacy is now very advert. You know what I'm saying? Or overt, where you want to say it, that it's not right in your face anymore. A lot of people don't know that white supremacy is very, uh, what do you say, very um, elusive. You know what I'm saying? In 2022, going on to 2023, it's not in your face no more. And what that have done that have caused some black people to believe that it no longer exists because you don't see it in your face like you used to. We look at the old videos of the 1950s and 60s and we see them using the N-word and spitting on black people and sicking dogs on us and basically just telling us how they feel about us. Nowadays, it's different. They hide it. They don't let you know how they feel. Um, they don't let you know that if possible, they wouldn't mind seeing us in slavery again. See, this is the problem nowadays. You have white people that think this way, but they won't tell you that deep down in their heart, they wouldn't have no problem with bringing slavery back. And that's the issue. And for all of those that want to always explain away white supremacy and act like it don't exist because that is the new normal. We just going to sit here and act like this tree is not standing right in front of us. That is the new norm. We're supposed to just act like white supremacy doesn't exist. You know what I'm saying? Me, myself, I know that you cannot sweep nothing under the rug. A lot of people think that if we talk about racism, is the very reason why racism won't die. No, that is not true. That's, farther, that's furthest from the fact. The fact is this. When you stop wanted to talk about white supremacy and you don't want to deal with it and you don't put it on the table and actually deal with it that is the very reason why white supremacy can't go away because you don't want to face it you don't want to deal with it you don't want to say hey this is a problem let's tackle it let's deal with it if you sincerely want to get rid of white supremacy you know what I'm saying? If you sincerely want to hold hands with everybody else in the world, you know what I'm saying, and sing that old Negro spiritual that Martin Luther King was telling you about, then we have to deal with white supremacy head on. It's the only way, people. I know it's uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? I know it is. But we have to. Until then, I have to guard myself. Until then, I have to think black. I have to eat black. I have to feel black because I don't trust white supremacy. I don't trust the system. You know what I'm saying? I surely don't trust America. You know what I'm saying? Because they are the best at um, um, the divide and conquer method. You know what I'm saying? And they're very good at being great illusionists. So I know that America is the great illusion. But since just for the sake of just saying, could there ever be peace or could we ever deal with racism in America? Yes, it's possible if you are willing to sit down and really deal with white supremacy. But if you want us to sit here and act like it doesn't exist, that's going to be the very reason why it doesn't go away. And this is facts. I have never seen nobody solve a problem without talking about the problem. I have never seen anybody solve a problem without dealing with the problem. And that is just facts, not fiction. Thank you for listening. Like, subscribe.
and it's always one love.